still very cold in here. It's the first level 7 door in a while, but luckily, when we beat Vulcan Raven, he gave us the level 7 card. And he also increased the capacity on all of our weapons. We can hold a lot of ammo for the FAMAS now. Oh, man. He's going to regret giving us so much capacity to hold ammo, because now we can shoot down all of his ravens he left behind. Technically, he's still in all those ravens. <laughs> it's like he never left. Can we pick up his gun? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he left it behind just for us, and uh, I would really like to pick it up, but... Uh, but uh, you're carrying too much ammo now, and you can't possibly <laughs> carry this. Overburdened. If I put down my Stinger Missile, I could pick it up, but I don't want to. We have to get out of here before our rations freeze solid again. I always forget that there's a level 7 keycard in this game. It's the last one, but there are so few level 7 doors, I always forget it exists. That's kind of an odd number to end on. The last game had like 10 exactly. This next room is under high security. They give us some chaff grenades for it, but it's really silly. Oh my gosh, is that three just right next to each other? What the heck? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's been so long <laughs> since the trap doors. There's not been a trap door in this game since the freaking armory, and then they just spring it on me again <laughs> when I'm busy distracted by incredible amount of security cameras in the next room. They think you forgot, and I did. Trapdoors exist in this game. Yeah, so every red dot on the Soliton radar there is another security camera. They absolutely blew their budget on surveillance for this <laughs> one waterfall. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! There's every square inch of this room is under surveillance, but I can just walk right through. I see if uh, it's probably rather impractical to shoot these all down, though. Yeah. That's why they gave us three chaff grenades. Oop! <laughs> what?! <laughs> How is that not visible? There we are. Just gonna sneak right past. Okay, fine. I will use one of the chaff grenades you gave me. Just think of how, if they had spread this surveillance a little thinner, we probably wouldn't have made it this far through the base. They only had two guarding the medical room that they were keeping us prisoner in. I like that the security cameras rave out to the chaff grenades, though. Oh, these. Th these three here are, like, the lowest. I don't know why they mounted these ones so low. <laughs> what? It just looks ridiculous, but it means we can do this with a C4. And they're also pointed, like, 180 degrees straight at the floor, so they're not really even guarding anything. Oop. And there, there's a really cool camera angle right here, at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> and they're not even guarding anything important, it's just this waterfall and, like, 15 stinger missiles. Just in case you want to get through with the bomb, but you can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's something a ladder down there and everything. But the real reason for all that security is they were guarding this room, actually. Not very well. <laughs> I'm gonna scope ahead. Trapdoor. <laughs> My missile falls through the trapdoor. What's that rumbling? Oh, that's the... I'm boosting. 
If you... Oh, so that's not giant footsteps somewhere. <laughs> Metal Gear stomping around. Oh no! There's a little bit of security in this room up ahead. There's one gun camera and that's it. The installer probably had one left over because he couldn't reach anywhere else. <laughs> Oh, it's the music with lyrics. The first one in the game. The song goes zoom, and that's it. Oh, was that an actual word? <laughs> it sounded like it. Uh, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's Metal Gear Rex. Do you have enough C4? <laughs> I have... No, I, I wasted one in the previous room, so I can actually defeat Metal Gear Rex. Oh, no. Look. You don't have to, like, preload them and they blow up in order. <laughs> Left, right, left, right. No, you're only allowed to place eight at a time. But look, down here, there's more water from that waterfall in the previous room. And it's like radioactive wastewater. So if we step into it, it starts like depleting our health faster than the cigarettes do. What? Like five times as dangerous as a cigarette waiting in radioactive water. Also, should you just not be near it as well? Uh, It's probably a good sign not to be near it. Oh, it beeps! Yeah, it's, it's painful. Uh, that ration in the water is probably going to start radioactive decaying if we don't eat it right away. So, uh, so down that. <laughs> right, it's probably okay until you pick it up. Oh, dude! It's not rotten, it's just radioactive decay. Fine. In fact, you can think of it as sterilized. <laughs> it's, it's true. See, that camera's way the hell up there. I have no excuse for mounting those other ones so low. Find a place where I can get out of this. That's the first time we're allowed to go underwater since, like, the very first room of the game. That camera's not even guarding anything! Yeah, but what was that noise? Oh, speaking of things we haven't seen since, like, the very beginning of the game, here's a vent. That doesn't even look we're, like you can go in. And we're not even allowed to crawl into it. Oh, okay. It's too small. Remember vents? We used to be crawling through vents all the time for, like, two rooms, and then never again. Not since we met the DARPA chief have we had to crawl through a vent. So, shouldn't the Metal Gear room be a pretty big deal? Wouldn't you call this a pretty big deal? I mean, should there be someone here? <laughs> Snake's here. Otacon's here. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Everybody, with a name like Baker, you gotta try all the obvious passwords, like Baker's Dozen, 13, spelled with elite letters. 13, 13. <laughs> because you gotta use letters and numbers. Oh, right. 13 spelled with... Threes to the knees. It seems like a poor security measure to leave chaff grenades around the giant robot we're going to be using to launch nukes. Wait, wait a second. I see they've they've carried over that feature from Metal Gear D. <laughs> For crotch machine gun? Yeah. The Rex stands for that penis is gonna Rex you. 
Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. So did Otacon really just call you back? To, or like, not even a minute later, just to tell you that he's working on it? Give it a little status update. Oh, that's something I've never shown before, because I'm always running around with all of my weapons unequipped, because it looks cleaner, but there's a custom animation for climbing ladders while you're holding... With a gun out? Wow. Yeah. Can you do that with, like, a stinger, too? You can't do it with a stinger, because you go into first person, but you can do it with, uh, the Nikita. Hey. I recognize that map. Hey! <laughs> I see you strutting. Comparing their respective mullets. <laughs> oh no! This room actually does have some security. There's one guard walking around on these catwalks. And he's got a new outfit. We've seen uh, the guards that attacked us on the elevator were wearing this type of combat gear, but this one's the first one we've seen patrolling in it. So he takes more shots than any guard to kill. But how many punches? <laughs> you can still flip him over the railing and that's like dead, right? Yeah, you could also shoot him with one sniper rifle bullet in the kill. But your diazepam addiction. <laughs> I can quit anytime I want. Look at me carrying this gun. It's my workout for the day. I carry the Stepping gun. on your metal gear. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, here we go. You can carry a claymore very daintily. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky out. Oh, you can't actually do the Nikita here because you can't equip the Nikita in jamming radar areas. But if you could, I would totally be carrying up that staircase. Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake... I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START Three Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? 
It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. <sighs> the terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Are they just waiting for the right time? <laughs> like, they have both the passwords. What are they waiting for? Uh... For Snake to get off of a Metal Gear so <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna do a little, uh... Preventative measure here, just in case... This thing starts... Assassin me, I'm gonna... Oh wait. The use ladder button is the same as detonate C4 button. Oh no! <laughs> My hubris! Oh, it's okay. The game knows what I want to do. You want to be jamming. <laughs> yeah, good thing C4 doesn't use radio frequencies to detonate. It's a good thing that Ocelot and uh, Liquid aren't looking outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing they decided not to put any security cameras in this area, where the Metal Gear actually is. No, gotta watch that waterway. Oh wait, up there. There is one security camera. It's like almost impossible to know this if I didn't have my uh, lock-on target there. There's also one really incompetent guard. He's the <laughs> best of the best. It's dark in here. Look at that. Oh yeah, you have optical camouflage. Maybe. <laughs> it's just regular wearing camouflage. Gray on in. gray. Yeah. You're smoking. A lot of things in this building is smoking. Oh no! My lethal kneecap. <laughs> the one place I didn't wear armor. My Achilles heel. Now that he's out of the way, there's nothing that can cause an alert in this area now. We can even do explosions like this. Wait, what if you cause an alert in this area? Do more guards come? No, that's the thing. Uh, no more guards than are already there can ever pop in, so just one guard will show up forever. If you keep killing him, he'll just spawn back. I'm just gonna fire this into that room they're in. <laughs> oh, I can't curve the bullet. Quite so sharp. You gotta get the lock on first. Must be real good soundproofing on that door. Damn, this tiny railing in my way. Snake, it's me, Liquid. I see you outside. Stop that. <laughs> Snake. Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. So that's how he could afford such a nice tie. Wait, where did Decoy Octopus get the exact same tie that Dark Machine was wearing? Oh no! <laughs> oh, were you trying to knock? I was trying to get their attention, but I accidentally set off all that C4. My <laughs> master plan. Alright, now you can hit Metal Gear's weak point. <laughs> Let me just... Uh... It won't let me put a C4 here. There you go, close enough. What if it leaves the railing? I don't think it can. It's like surrounded up by all four sides by catwalks. Okay, but what if it stands completely still and there's two uh, moving <laughs> security cameras? <laughs> Shooting lasers at me. Oh no, I'm the best soldier. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. 
We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstead president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Snake, 
I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the President was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Colonel, that water is radioactive. I don't think the key's good anymore. <laughs> Snake, how could you? You were the worst soldier.